Our happy Independence Day, everyone. It is the 4th of July. It is Thursday. I'm here in Fillmore, California for the annual Sespe Creek Car Show. I did cover this one last year as well. It was overcast last year. It is really, really hot. It's supposed to be really, really hot today. It's not hot yet, but it will get hot. Uh, they get a lot of great cars at this one. It's a fantastic event uh, celebrating the 4th of July. And uh, we're going to go get started and have a look right now. So the cars are actually rolling in. Actually, I got it early uh, for right around when they start rolling in. In fact, I uh, passed a few on the way up here on the 126. I want to get to this section as much as possible because last year at DJ set up right in front of the uh, theater there where I did the intro made it difficult to shoot this area. I will say uh, YouTube announced a new feature that supposedly will take out all the copyright music and leave the commentary and background noise they, they have announced. Uh, it's coming up. Uh, do I think it will work? I kind of doubt it, but we'll see. So that would be nice. It would also be nice if it doesn't take like a day for it to process because I know the one where it like takes out the audio sometimes takes a day to process so it's completely useless to me as I like to get the videos up the same day. Nicely patinaed Ford pickup here. So Sunday we have uh, Montrose car show which I've filmed several times in the past. And uh, I may try to hit something else tomorrow on Friday or possibly Saturday. So you patch up the uh, gas filler there, use a license plate. So we'll see how that goes. And I do have to meet up with my sister and my mother for lunch at some point over somewhere in the San Fernando Valley area. The Chevelle Super Sport. Six Chevelle. And coming up uh, next week on the 13th, we've got Moon Eyes Open House in Santa Fe Springs. And I believe that's Sunday we've got uh, I believe it's Long Beach Swap Meet, which I missed last month due to the uh, Burbank show. The Road Kings event. And we had a lot of new people from the uh, Dukes show from last week. The algorithm managed to pick that one up. And as always, I remind people, please like the video. So make sure you you like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment as well your favorite cars. It does help us out with the algorithm. Also, share some of these videos and the channel with who you think might be interested in watching them. Now we got a 65 El Camino. As always, you gotta check the attentive lists. It'll be in the comments section after I post the video, pinned at the top. Let you know what events I'm planning on hitting in the near future. This cab over. Fifty four Chevy. Also, if there's a copyright issue, I'll have to overlay one of my AI tracks I make. Um, I do have two AI music channels. I've got Record Hop, which is cruising oldies and lowrider oldies. And I've got uh, Vinyl Interior, which is more like hilarious, with, or songs with funny premises of various genres that I make. In fact, there's a great one about aliens talking to truckers on CBs that I posted yesterday on that channel. It's 57, the four-door hardtop. Another 
54. Also, I do have a, if you like records, check out uh, Mike Finds Things, where I go out and find interesting records out in the wild. I usually post on Mondays on that channel. In fact, I uh, wound up picking up a bunch of 78s last weekend. Unfortunately, I don't think there's a lot of sales this weekend, due to it being 4th of July. Bomb here, Chevy Fleet Master. If you like the bombs, check out the Bomb Club show from what, about a month ago. Santa Anita. Sixty-three. Like they just saw the uh, Thump Records truck. I need to talk to those guys. They're doing a show on the twenty-seventh at Pomona, which I'm assuming is an indoor show. Um, the Low Rider show. I sent them an email, but it bounced back trying to get a press pass. It is very hard to shoot shows like that unless I can get in early, as they don't open the doors until 11 o'clock. So, hopefully, I might, if I don't hear from them, well, actually, it bounced back, so I didn't, I'm not going to hear from back from them on the email, so I'm going to have to call them maybe next week. Maybe see if I can talk to somebody here. Manning their booth about who I should talk to about that. I had these grand plans of going up to Washington State for good guys and then, like I said, the algorithm has not been what it used to be. So I, I was not able to do that trip and I said, okay, I'll just use all the, all the trip funds are going to go towards Power Tour West, which is in October. And of course, I'm still going to cover SEMA in early November in Las Vegas as well. So those will probably be my two out-of-town trips. Possibly I'll, I'll be able to go to Pleasanton. Good guys. All right, we got this 38 Chevy. I said, I'm going to get this section. We'll get in the middle. There'll probably still be cars rolling in, so we'll get a little bit of rolling action. I said, this was the area that gave me the most problem with copyright last year. So as long as there's no DJ set up yet, I want to get it. My 62. Apollo Super Sport. As I always say, if you see the tentative list and you know there's like... A day that there's a car show that I don't know about. Let me know. Uh, there's sometimes stuff I still don't catch. Well, I've gotten better at it. I check a lot of different sources. Mainly I check uh, SoCal uh, Car Culture Calendar. They usually have the most complete list. But not all the show organizers send into those guys. And of course, the out of town stuff isn't listed there. And as I always say, if it's on Pomona Sunday, I'm at Pomona, Pomona on that Sunday. Which, unless you watched my last Pomona video where I actually said it was Saturday at the beginning of the video, which a couple of people caught. I literally, I think I did one intro and then I just used it and I didn't realize I'd said Saturday. As I literally was, I thought was running late. Uh, 69 Mustang. This show draws a little bit of everything. Quite a bit of low riders. Chevy. Hey, Mike, 
switch to this Corvette, a more modern. Ted short bed step side. The uh, Vin Scully special there. Dodger Blue. And at Leona Valley, that's a beautiful spot. I love it. I went there to visit him once. Yeah, she's real quiet up there. Our modern uh, Corvette, or more modern Corvette than we usually see, I should say. Follow you all the time. Here we go. Good work, Mike. Oh, thanks. Enjoy your show, man. All right, thanks. Here we got a uh, G body Cutlass. Chevy Monte Carlo. Some of the detail on here. We got a 66 Chevy Caprice. I think I know I added some stuff to the calendar recently. I was always say you gotta check the uh, latest. It is the most updated. I cannot go back and update all the other ones magically, unfortunately. Now we got Grand National Truck Show coming up. I'm gonna try to take the uh, Suburban I picked up out to that one. I may use that for Power Tour West, I don't know yet as it does have functional air conditioning and a very large radiator, although it gets eight miles to the gallon. So we will see, but it's a square body, so it'll fit right in. It has Caddy Fleetwood Brome. Got 68 Chevy Impala. So it's a work in progress. This club is local out of Fillmore. I was talking to uh, one of the members here a minute ago. I will say my ex-wife used to work at Sespe Elementary out here. She was a teacher when I met her. So I did spend some time out here back then, including playing Santa one year for the for the school. You know, because they wanted a fat guy to play Santa. <laughs> They're like, he's perfect. That's the only time I get to mention Santa Claus in July on the channel. Look at this El Camino. Big block powered Ford F100. Pickup truck. Nice 62 Chevy Impala. Yeah, it's 57 convertible. Milner Tribute. This is 
guys remember the uh, movie American Graffiti. I'm assuming everybody who watches this channel knows that movie. <laughs> Got a uh, Cougar XR7 convertible. to the uh, beginning of the Malays era. It's the sign of the cat. Got 58 Ford Ranchero. Deco elements on the uh, cars in this era. Actually, I saw a beautiful Pontiac bomb on the way out here. It's got the Allstate Sears cooler hanging off the window that matches the car. So I saw a beautiful bomb that I assume was driving out here to the show. See if we see it later on. Uh, getting on the 126 off the five on the way out here. Look at this custom beetle. like the short beds, but the long beds are quite useful. There's the cars rolling in here. Beautiful 55. Actually, I am dealing with the early morning shadows. So, as you can imagine, it's being a huge deal, the whole 4th of July celebration, including the car show in Fillmore here. Uh, later on, this, this whole street will be full of spectators, so. That day we got food and different vendors. There's a bunch of vendors down by the uh, park where the uh, train station is. A 1970 Pontiac GTO of M Air. This one's the judge. with functional ram air. You heard one that was in Mechanics Illustrated back in the 50s. She's flathead powered. Plymouth Prowler. He's about, he's about 25 years old at this point. Kind of hard to believe. I don't think they made very many of these. What year is this one? This one's a 99, so yeah, 25. Yeah, folks, this is a 25 
your old car. <laughs> if you can believe that. I just made everybody, including myself, feel old. Uh, 67 C10 short bed, step side. Three on the tree. Murphy's got the uh, inline six. I got a, a Mustang 2 plus 2. Mustang Coupe. Uh, so we had two Mustangs, and we're gonna have two Camaros. We'll start with the '69. Say what you will about the sirens; it does mask the music from the other side of the street. <laughs> I got a six and second 69 Camaro. Yeah, we got a 39 Buick. transport it's like the DJ actually did set up down the other end there by the theater just as last year so I think we got cleared that area quick got more of these Volkswagens they're getting ready to start up there and we got a Chevy El Camino like an 80s style it was an 84 model of that. A pair of Datsun pickups. Bring you these. This one is a, a 78 model. You know, the Datsun saves gasoline can. That's kind of cool. Here we got a second uh, matching Datsun pickup to the first one. I have a piece of guy that was really into these. And they are very indestructible. A uh, Datsun 710. A bit of a uh, Coca Cola theme going on here. Our clean C10. There's the uh, Pontiac I saw rolling in. Or sorry, rolling out here, I should say. Look at this Model A hot rod.
Little Mustang GT convertible. Pontiac Le Mans four door hardtop. That's the last time you saw one of these this clean. It's the luxury Le Mans, too. I say uh, you don't see uh, the four door hardtop ever like that. There's hydraulic fluid all over everything, and it was on Yeah, 69 Camaro. There's still cars rolling in, just not as uh, much as there was a little bit before. Looks like they're, they're setting up and people are filling out their registrations. Chevy pickup. See if it says crossfire on the uh, side there from here. Five Hudson Hornet. We're just Lincoln. Old 
slow so you can take this one in. Thunderbird. Ten short bed. I will say it has not gotten super hot yet here. It will. You know, in the San Fernando Valley, it's supposed to get up to 105 today. I'm guessing out towards Woodland Hills. So it's got the uh, Buick headlight treatment. Slam C10. There's Caddy Yellow Rider. Fleetwood Brome. It's got the uh, murals on it. Got an S10 Blazer lowrider. This one's got a uh, five-speed in it. Got a uh, Lincoln Town car. My mother, I would change the oil in her Lincoln Town car. <laughs> nice Corvette C2. Car business cube. <laughs> uh, the, uh, Fiat Bianchina, Auto Bianchi. It was converted to electric, of all things. <laughs> Italian car. I believe we've seen one of these converted to electric. My father years ago had the uh, convertible like that. And then when I was having to sell some of his cars, I had a guy working a package deal and he absolutely had to have it and I wanted to keep it and I wound up selling it to the guy and I still regret it to this day. It was a fun little car to run around in. When it was running correctly, that is. <laughs> oh, Fiat. Auto Bianchi. 
We got the Chevy Fleet Line. Custom Cadillac. For sale, but there's no info on it anyway, so <laughs> it's not worth me zooming in on anything. Nothing written on the for sale sign. Chevy. One's the Style Master Coupe. Black C10 short bed. Yeah, look at this. this is like I said, it's the whole C10 club.
Square body dually. Jen Akana, we saw the one in earlier. It all surfed out. All right, so I came up to a section where there's no music playing. I'm gonna go back where the section where the guys got the uh, loud sound system all. Probably overlay a music track that way. That's at the end of the video. I totally forgot I made a 4th of July doo-wop song that I didn't use that is on my computer as a file. So most likely that's how I'll be doing that one. Of course now the record companies are trying to take over the AI stuff, so... I try not to use it. Currently, it is considered like public domain, I guess, if you make a song on AI. I don't know if that's going to change in the future. Which is why I try to use it sparingly in these videos. Sixty-three. I was gonna ask what year did you buy the sixty-four for? What year did you buy the Some of the detail here. Monte Carlo. Some of the detail on this car. Chevy pickup. Is that 
Lincoln Continental. We saw rolling in a little early. That big flathead. Yeah, the Hudson Hornet we saw earlier. Paint on this uh, Pontiac cattle. I'm going to check out the under dash air conditioning. We come around the tree. Got a Ford F100 here. That 1955 Pontiac. It's, uh, a little earlier, rolling in. Give you a look in there. Which I think is cool. It's that Ford Highway Patrol car we saw rolling in. Just slightly out of service. Dude, we got the radio delete and the uh, dash there. Check it out, he's got the receiver for the uh, police radio. Receiver and the transmitter. And the uh, lights there. No love for the wide locks. I have to right, have so Camino. So the crowds are definitely starting to come out now for the show, as it is the 4th of July, and most people do have the day off. SK5. Flatbed we saw rolling in. We got a 64. We saw earlier rolling in. And the 55 Bel Air. Let's get the uh, plastic on the upholstery. So like I said, I'm going to get, the, I already shot the other side of this block. I'm going to do finish up. I think I have one, I'll do this block, and then I've got two sides of the next block. At the end is where the guy is playing the music, and then I'll use, I'll use that section to overlay a track. Here you go, this one for 44,064. Swap meet rules apply. And if you compare it to the rusted out ones for 25,000 at Pomona, that's a pretty good deal. <laughs> Don't forget to check the day of the video. It's the 4th of July. This is the beginning of the video, 2024. Now people like to see the cars for sale. There's 64. This one's a convertible, not for sale though.
And another convertible. So we'll top up 64 Impala. So F-150 Dent side Explorer edition I got 57 Bel Air two door The hard top variety Sixty-two in power. Yeah, what are you rolling on? Okay. Sixty-eight convertible. Buckets and console. An early C4 Corvette. It was actually an 84, it is for sale. I will say, looking at Corvettes, look up the 84 is the one year of the C4 with the crossfire injection, which look it up and see what people think of it and that's all I'm gonna say about that but uh, I know most people prefer the tune port variety that started in uh, 85 I'll just leave it at that a 54 Chevy sedan it's definitely warming up now they were having the heat wave, they are yapping about on TV. other so I'll try to get around them as best as I can as you can imagine it is not always easy depending on how they are parked but Thank you. 
Got the Chevy. At this point, I'm just going to have to walk around all these spectators. It is getting crowded down here. That's why I always try to get to these shows as early as possible. Beat all the uh, spectators to the punch, <laughs> so to speak. Got this uh, 80s, 90s style rod. Check out the uh, graphics. <laughs> Custom C10 pickup. Look at what's going on there. It's the uh, 56 ranch wagon we saw earlier. So there's the uh, 312 Y block. Forty one Ford steak bed. So it does actually have a for sale sign on it. For fifteen thousand, there you go. Check that date of the video. That's gonna be later though. Yeah, that's using your head. <laughs> Good prop. <laughs> I'm guessing this guy likes the Raiders. I will say I will try to get this video up today. I do have to go to lunch with my mother and my sister after this, so after that I will be going home. As long as it clears copyright either the first or the second time, I should be able to have it up. That way it's a 4th of July video posted on 4th of July. I may try to hit something tomorrow, like maybe a cruise night, or possibly Saturday. There's really no shows I can find on Saturday locally to me. Nothing larger, so maybe like a Cars and Coffee. And like I said, we have Montrose on uh, Sunday morning, which is a good size show. It's another one I have to get there early to film because the crowds do fill up that street as well. Let's swap second gen Camaro. Look at this, babe. 70 Chevelle. So I said, I can hear the music, so we're getting a little closer to where the loud sound system is. A 59 Impala convertible, twin antennas and cruiser skirts and a Continental kit on this one. Should be a good look there. That's 57 Bel Air convertible. That's 62. That's 66. Chevelle Malibu. We would give you a square body crew cab. Mustang GT convertible. And it's got the uh, custom seats in there. They put the uh, pony interior on there. Keep it looking 60s. That's 55 Bel Air. We're going to roll right into this one. My name is Ron. 
This one is a Chrysler. Not sure what year it is, I'll be honest with you. 38, 38 Chrysler Imperial. Early Mustang. We got a 67 Impala station wagon. All right, 64 Impala. Super Sport. That 42 Pontiac. So I saw this guy on the way out. I know I filmed this car before. Got the uh, square body GMC Jimmy. Camped out, and they got the uh, sprinklers running. I think some there's some kids back there getting uh, cooled off by the sprinklers. So I'll just not go back there. Not sure why. Uh, at least the church uh, uh, had their sprinklers running on the day of the car show. They're probably automatic sprinklers. A 66 Beetle. I still need to get my 65 onto the channel at some point. Uh, whenever I can get over there to work on it. A 64 Impala. Very nice 65. All right, so realistically, I only have a few cars in the area that are uh, around where the loud sound system is. So I'll short clip it, and hopefully it doesn't flag. So I don't have to overlay the AI clip. That 61 convertible. You going to start a Paul? Yeah. Yeah, 57, 210. To our post, fuel injected. Now Fox Body 50 Notch LX. He updated in a uh, SN95 Dash. A 66 Chevelle Malibu convertible. try to get the shots I can. There are a lot of spectators right now. That's 57 Chevy pickup truck. It's got the uh, coat cooler in the back. Swap on this one. Chevy Pal. Clean 64 Malibu. Yeah, 
The beautiful suburban. things up here in Fillmore, California for the 4th of July Sespe Creek Car Show. This is my second year filming it. Uh, it was also a great one. Like I said, I'm going to try to find something else for you probably in the next couple days. Sunday we definitely have Montrose. A lot of other great events coming up for the channel, so be sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video with your friends, tell your friends about the channel, let them in on the secret, and until next time, I'll be seeing you.